So we've got a question here from one of our Facebook Live followers who's watching uh, and listening to this live from Jaikar Vadla who says, do you have any lifestyle, lifestyle tips to avoid diabetes? Okay, lifestyle tips. Um, okay, so for diabetes, you definitely want to reduce sugar in all senses. What I do, and I, I was going to mention this earlier, is that I'm such an advocate of smoothies specifically because I take them with me. Now, if, you, if you're running around a lot, like we're, James and I are in Los Angeles where it is an hour in traffic each way. It is, uh, you know, you might have to be at a meeting at two and then cross town at four. I have a thermos which I take with me, take my smoothie with me every single day. And it's a, it's a basic thermos I got on Amazon for about 35 bucks. And I've had it for the last couple of years. And it holds 40 ounces. So I'll make my low carb smoothie in the morning, put it in the thermos. And then by four o'clock, if I, I instead of stopping somewhere uh, where uh, it's unhealthy food or sweets or I'm tempted by sugar, I'll have my smoothie right then and there, even if it's in the car. So that's one thing. Uh, but yeah, it is tough having a sweet tooth and trying to get around it when you don't have something to have a healthy alternative. I would definitely uh, recommend berries, just bunch of berries, almonds, nuts. If you don't want to do the smoothie, just always have it with you so you're not tempted. And then final question, when is a good time to have a smoothie? Like, should I have it first thing in the morning before I go and work out? Should I have it post-workout? Should I have it at nighttime? Like, when's the best time to have a smoothie as a meal replacement? So uh, that's a great question. And I really, I think you could have it any time of day, depending on your goals. I wouldn't have a very sugary smoothie in the morning. I wouldn't have it at night either. I would leave that till after your workout. So if you're going to use the pineapple, the banana, any of the sweet fruits, do it after your workout uh, with the protein. If it's higher in fats, like coconuts, uh, coconut chocolate or avocado, or has a peanut butter in it, then that's better later on at night. And that's even better with cottage cheese, which is a slow digesting protein. So if you have cottage cheese and coconut or cottage cheese and peanut butter later at night, that's going to do wonders for you. All right. So there you go. How to make great smoothies, how to get fit and healthy, how to put on some weight as well. Like now you know how to put on some muscle, assuming that you just add a whole lot of you add more protein if you're wanting to build muscle, Brad? Oh, oh yeah. More protein. You could throw in so much more calories. Uh, at Smoothie King, we had this one drink called the Hulk. And in a 20-ounce, you know, a 20-ounce smoothie, it was 1,000 calories. That's wow. the 20-ounce. And then the 40-ounce, obviously, double. But bodybuilders would come in there and just crush that because it had ice cream and uh, uh, lots of fruits and lots of uh, weight gain powder. So it's great if you want to gain weight. If you don't, please measure your ingredients because you do not want to make that mistake of making a, a milkshake instead of a smoothie. Hey, I'm James Swanick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch my next video, then click here. If you want to subscribe to this channel to get new videos, click here. And if you want to follow me on social media, like my Snapchat right here, you can see my Snap. Click on the links down there. Go on, do it now. I'll wait for you. Snapchat, Snapchat me, Snapchat.